Welcome to the Mad Lightworkers Laboratory. Just kidding, of course. Welcome to Lance's Loving Lightworker Laboratory. Yeah, so many L's. Let's, let's, let's just, now. Nah. This is where the magic starts at the faucet, getting that tap water, that nasty chemical laden and hormonal byproduct ridden. And it goes through this fancy ass machine that I have no idea what it's doing, but what I do know is it's the John Ellis machine. And um, then it shoots out after it's processed, um, pure distilled John Ellis water. And that's important and significant because it has the enhanced bond angle of 114 degrees, which compared to our normal water, what? Bond angles? Normal water? But water is water, and you're saying there's different waters? So these are all thoughts and questions you might have. And while we could talk about all the different kinds of waters that are out there and all the different kind of filtering systems that are out there, let's just focus on this John Ellis or JE machine and this water that's like no other. So John Ellis claims that regular water has hydrogen and oxygen atoms that are bonded at 104 degrees. You can see that here marked by the initial red lines. His machine then transforms and increases the bond angle to 114 degrees. So what's the big deal about the bond angle? John Ellis says the hydrogen bond angle of 114 degrees makes it easier for the ability of water to pass through a membrane and penetrate the cell, promoting all kinds of health benefits in the body. Thousands of benefits, he claims. So here's another interesting detailed explanation of what's going on with this enhanced hydrogen bond angle. And I'll just leave this here for you to read on your own. And I'll refer to this later in the video because it has an interesting origin. So I was an atmospheric scientist by training with a short career focused in numerical modeling before what I'm doing now. So while I have basic knowledge in chemistry and physics of air and um, some molecular science, I don't really claim to know any of this on a deep level. And I really can't anyways because it's a secret. <laughs> Seriously, this is somewhat a mysterious innovation with 13 international patents that don't reveal proprietary secrets. Therefore, I don't think anyone will fully understand how it's working. He said he's been contacted by multiple governments and companies, and he still won't sign the machine or process away. So I think that shows some integrity on his part. But anyways, how does the machine really work? John Ellis says it's like the mini filtration plant for your home. So this is straight from his website. The water comes in and fills the boiler and when it boils, it lifts to the surface all the viruses and bacteria, creating a steam that's hit with high intensity ultraviolet light and high heat that destroys all the contaminants. That steam is saved and becomes drinking water that's over 800 times purer, purer, purer than tap water. <laughs> then the pressure in the boiler drops to zero, pushing out hot water and letting in cold water. This process repeats three times per minute and hundreds of times per gallon, taking about two hours for the John Ellis water machine to produce one gallon of energized distilled water. The water that isn't distilled goes through another small hose and can be collected. This he calls energized tap water, which also has the enhanced molecular angle, and the machine can make up to 10 gallons an hour of this. This is the water they use on wells and environmental cleanups. More on that soon. So I'll usually put this in my plants after it cools down and they suck it up and love it so much. Um, I have some photos I can share of some flowers that love this. These are some flowers two weeks after they were purchased and John Ellis was put into them about one week after and they changed color, got more vibrant, and even grew new green leaves. So it was pretty cool. And they lasted a really long time till the end of the month, almost a whole month. And here's a quick look at one of my hydroponic towers that I restarted 
with John Ellis water. And you'll just have to take my word for it that the plants germinated and grew much quicker and much more vibrantly than it did the first time around without it. So it was really interesting to use this energized tap water for hydroponic plants. So this energized tap water I was just talking about that I put in my flowers is different from JE water because it's not the pure degassed distilled JE water. Because this water is so energized, it can transform regular water to have JE properties at the ratio of one ounce of JE water to one gallon of regular water. So you can see that a little goes a long way in purifying and energizing your body. Only one gallon of pure distilled JE water can transform over six months worth of the average person's drinking water. And it's pretty fascinating seeing the actual pollutants coming out of the water during the process of using the machine. You can physically see these things coming out of the water. And that's the crap that's going in your body that shouldn't be there. He also claims that water that's been structured with his machine holds up to 30 times more energy and is sufficient to destroy disease markers in the bloodstream. So with this enhanced cell support, this extra energy potential helps kill and flush out all the contaminants in your body. This claim, he says, was proven in electrolysis experiments that he shows online on his website. They measured 30 times the energy potential with JE water as opposed to ordinary water Another interesting fact and use for the machine is that it can also be used to saturate the room air with the high energy UV vapor that destroys pathogens on contact. The fan component on top works as an air cooler with a fan stirrer that's used so that more oxygen can be consumed during the energizing process. Who is John Ellis anyways? Very briefly, he graduated ahead of his class and time with an engineering degree in steam plant design. He's been an engineer working on U.S. military applications and also a world record athlete in discus throw. He attributes this to his deep understanding of the mechanics of the body and force. He claims this novel water saved his life as he was a prior steroid user and now contributes to his current health and longevity. He holds a world record reverse curl in his 70s without steroids this time, he says. So I think it's safe to say he's doing something right, as he's currently strong and active in his 93rd year. Or at least that's what the emails say that I get from him every now and then, as a subscriber. So there's all this weird new terminology and all these different effects and all these different claims of benefits. So has it actually been studied? Has anyone actually drank it and used it? Well, one guy, a special guy, a doctor guy, <laughs> Dr. Guy Abraham, MD of the UCLA Medical School, did independent studies. He used five Electron 5 distillers. This is the name of the machine, E5, John Ellis machine. And he ran hundreds of blood tests at UCLA. In his conclusion, was voiced in a letter to John Ellis, and quote, You can't argue with something you can measure. The results speak for themselves. We can measure the ability of blood, which is 94% water, to go through a membrane and into cells. Nothing is even close to your water. Your hydrogen bond angle is 10 degrees greater than ordinary water. No wonder we're getting these results. You change the properties of water. And other experiences... A nurse was impressed with the water because they found in their patient that it changed the red blood cells immediately. And then scientists at Los Alamos Nuclear Lab said that, quote, your machine gets rid of cancer-causing radiation by recycling water hundreds of times per gallon, end quote. There's testimonials on his website from people completely transforming their skin problems and dandruff to even people being able to quit their medications for different things. And then one of the largest claims, he says, is that the Sloan Kettering Cancer Center has oncologists that use his machine 
and says that cancer cells can't survive it and that this is finally the answer. What I think is interesting is also people using it in environmental applications. There is people who use it in their pools and wells to clean up the water. And then in June 2003, the city of LaSalle, Colorado, which had a five-acre sewage waste lagoon with untreatable E. coli that could be smelled for miles, was treated. Their 10.5 million gallons of polluted wastewater was treated with 1,000 gallons of John Ellis water. And within 24 hours, the smell was gone. And within six weeks, without dredging, 30% of the human waste sludge in the lagoon had dissolved on its own. So that's pretty incredible. <laughs> so that's just a brief few experiences from medical doctors and testimonials. So while that John Ellis water is charging with extra energy of love, healing, and serenity, I'll let you know that when Creator was asked, this is God, Source, the Almighty, channeled through Carl Mollison, was asked, does John Ellis Water Distiller do what, it's, what it promises? Does it produce water with an enhanced hydrogen bond angle of 114 degrees? Does it have the profound health effects claimed? And Creator answers, the answer in general is yes to both parts of this question. The distiller works as intended and is effective at generating the water with this unusual configuration and all that implies when impinging on biological systems. The idea here is a sound one, that many miraculous things will happen for many who use this as a source of drinking water. The claims are coming forward with a glowing account of potential, and that is because there is divine support for this, and so the people are feeling the inner conviction and the certitude of the benefit this water represents, even without a huge body of evidence. It is not a cure-all, but it will help a wide variety of diverse conditions and is capable of restoring normal function for many who would otherwise suffer lifelong chronic illness and all that entails, with suffering, high expense, many complications from the invasive medical procedures they would be subjected to, and the reduction in quality of life and even longevity in many cases. So this device has our blessing and all can benefit to some degree from ingesting water from this source. So I skipped over some things there. Um, you know, there are some caveats that, you know, miracles and healing can't be con attributed to just one single device. There's many different factors that go on in someone's body and their energy system. And also that it does not contain the life forms, the novel life forms that um, we now know of through the divine. Um, that are very beneficial, this beneficial consciousness that science has yet to discover. Remember that quote I threw at you earlier? Well, that also came from Source Creator. And you can tell because it's very precise and detailed and is pretty eloquent in its delivery about what's going on with this enhanced bond angle. So as I always tell everybody, do your own research, find out what works for you, we're all different people and we all have different bodies and experiences and paths. So you gotta figure out what works for you. But the good thing about this is that it's just water. <laughs> there is no harm done by drinking this. And in fact, it's just only beneficial. As you heard from Creator, all can benefit from this. That's kind of rare when there's a pronouncement like that um, beyond prayer and um, other healing so um, I think it's gonna be very powerful and will totally change the world in my experience I can tell you that I fasted before I first took it and then you know only had it for um, undiluted for a day and I did get some diarrhea and some you know interesting effects but I think it was just cleansing and I totally felt so much lighter after that and I never had any other side effects or any other issues. I wouldn't even call that a side effect, like that was just the effects of it working. Um, and I haven't missed a day since. There's a few days here and there I'll miss on trips and such, but I truly credit it with how I stay healthy and energized and 
free from illness. Maybe I can get this out there for other people to experiment with and um, you know, just spread the, spread the love, spread the healing, because um, this can really help a lot of people. We need water for everything. Water is life. So um, I want to get this message out there and share this with everybody. Check out johnellis.com for his information and research. He actually has some research there. And then um, many testimonials and stories. He actually sells his water online upwards of like $100 a gallon. And other people do too. Um, you know, a little bit cheaper. I think you can see here anywhere from like 30s to 80s um, per gallon of this water. And if there was enough interest, then I would perhaps consider getting into the water making business. <laughs> um, so I want to support other people's healing and health as best as I can. And if I have access to this and I can help support it for other people, then why not? So let me know if this interests you and maybe we can work out a fair price and get this water out to more people. Also check out getwisdom.com where you can find more channelings like this and get the divine perspective about many different topics, almost anything your heart desires. So if you wanna jump into the rabbit hole and explore real truths about our reality and other information about true healing, they feature the Lightworker Healing Protocol, which I'm a certified practitioner of. And you can find more information about Empowered Prayer and how it can heal you and your loved ones. And you can also find information about me and more of my services at LanceRayborn.com. I'm working to update it with more research and blog entries about my path to spiritual awakening and healing and getting involved in all of this really interesting out there stuff no one would consider like this crazy enhanced bond ankle water so as a good friend used to tell me all the time it's better hydrate or dihydrate <laughs> so make sure you're hydrating because most people are just dehydrated no matter what no matter what kind of water they're getting so just make sure you're drinking water and then you know pray and bless your water to remove all negativity and with that i'll stop rambling Take care. Love and blessings, all. Stay hydrated.